look like you just come from the Arctic Circle. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it feels like. You don't have the eating on in your tent? No, I didn't sleep very well last night. Good. Yeah. So, let's sit on the field. I mean, does, does it look like my name is Josh Reed, you know? Like, Have you told that Rob Yes, I've told Rob this is a cheater. Oh, hell do you. <laughs> What's the plan today, Nick? Win. Win, win, win. win, win. You know? Like, yeah. Like Charlie, bombs, like Charlie Sheen. <sighs> I don't know what the plan is. I think the plan is to actually ride slower on the downhills. Because that's what like rests me. So oh, I'm right. slow anyway on that wheels. <laughs> you can't go any slower than that. Um, survive, actually, yeah, survive. That's until you have that's the main thing, yeah. I don't believe that you will go slower. And no, I'm saying I'm like a child yeah. in a sweet shop. You'll see the hill and run for it, or cycle for it. Yeah, I know, but you'll be going down. He done us up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Loch Lomond Divide. Uh, we're heading to Aberfoyle, we're starting the noon and some epic gravel again today. Uphill, but I mean, there's nothing, you can't descend. We've just been down a, a really nice, steep, techy descent, which uh, still buzzing from. Now climbing back up, and then another whiz down to a road descent, and then one more climb before descending to Loch Lomond. Well, I'm impressive descending. That's an easy bit because I just it's like dodging a branch. I feel on these footprints. And I'm currently in third place. I was in first for a bit. These mountain goats are climbing much faster than we did. They forgot to pack their big boy pants for the downhills. So I'll catch them in a couple of seconds again. I'm going to put some distance in. 
Don't worry, the wind. The wind's on the cars. It's not used to descending that fast, are you, Josh? No. Them corners. I'm glad we stopped here because we've got more descending at least. It's not like we have to restart. I hope I've not broken these wheels already. <laughs> well, they are a week old. I mean, you've done two rides on them, so. Where? Find it. Spin it. Like, I didn't even know they still made things called tubes. Like, what kind of amateur nonsense is this? Just had to fix the puncture. Lost Nick's lead. We were getting absolutely bitten alive by midges when we stopped. Nick uh, kindly helped a little bit. My uh, mechanic. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, you don't know like, how much they charge your puncture repairs. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Josh, got another function, mate. Now climbing up the last climb before we descend down to Loch Lomond. Nick's not complaining at all and uh, yeah we're just having a great day. Scotland's largest haggis factory into the small building at the top of the pipes. The haggis are dressed in that building and then they're rolled down those pipes to the big building at the bottom where they're distributed around the world so that everybody can enjoy haggis. And it's rolling haggis down those pipes that gives it that nice round shape that you see in supermarkets and delis when you buy haggis. And it's Ben Lomond that gives its name to Loch Lomond. In Gaelic, Ben means high peak and Lomond comes from the Gaelic word Lomain which means lantern, because Ben Lomond was actually a beacon hill. They used to light a large fire on top of Ben Lomond, and it would be seen very clearly all the way down in Glasgow and Edinburgh. So it was a very good way of signalling. And the last time Ben Lomond was used as a beacon hill was during the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, when a beacon was lit on top of Ben Lomond. I mean, look how high we are already. We've just started the ride again, like, this is brutal. I mean, surely there's a different ferry board that's got like a flat road out of it. 13% gradient. It's gonna be a long, 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 long day. We've crossed over Loch Lomond. Uh, we're climbing away from the lock now. And uh, we've crossed the West, where the West Highland Way uh, intersects the route and uh, yeah 50k now to Aberfoyle. Do you reckon this is what Jimmy feels like on every single ride he goes on? I would kill for steak bake right now. Gonna take some time, gonna make her mind, gonna make her 
How are you feeling now? Shattered, mate. Like, <laughs> I honestly thought those parties and some coffee and everything will fix me, but it's not. I need to find that ice cream shop. Everybody's walking around with the ice cream. I need one. Why have you come to Aberforth? Because I've bonked and I need food. I've had some, but it's like, it's just, I thought, like, the world to live hasn't returned for some reason. Oh, nice. Sex. <laughs> Nick wants a lift in the van. Does he? Alright. Be sure. Yeah. I'll give you a lift to your arm. As soon as you decide to bottle out and wimp out of the last section. I am tempted. The but options there. Five, four, three, no, two, one. I think I won't one. be able to live it down. So I'll, I'll just suffer for 10 kilometers. Yeah. Um, Josh is going to pull me up the hill. Is he going to? Uh, yeah. yeah. Slight reroute to our foil, but we're now uh, almost at the finish. It'll be a 120k day. Bonked for that, but it's not like that. Yeah. Glad to be No, it was so easy, man. I wish I could have been out there for another four hours. It's a nice day, Rob, again. Yes, I, I forgot what it looked like. <laughs> but obviously, I think it's his fault as well. Curry is not a cycling supper. It needs it's not at all. Pasta. It's not no, no. It's, it's no, it just doesn't work like that. No. <laughs> he looks, what have you done to him? I mean, I left you as a small and he was still a man. Now, he's a shadow. Is there two people for here? Good night, Nick. Good night, Joshua. Just lights up when you leave. <laughs>